Okay, guys, so I did tell you, uh, I don't think it was yesterday, I think it was the day before, that something good did come out of something as awful as the Civil War. So if you remember, uh, Abraham Lincoln was just recently uh, elected as president, and the next month, South Carolina seceded, and six other states that were slave states followed, and pretty soon other uh, slave states were following and they became the Confederate States of America. Remember, they wanted to secede, which means they wanted to leave the United States and start their own country, which was against our Constitution. And uh, President Lincoln knew that this was not a good situation, so he was ready to go to war to preserve the United States, to keep all of the United States together, one nation under God. And so that was what his goal was. So here we go. We see, let's see if this is going to work. There we go. So you can see these gray states down here were the ones that were first seceding. And you can see these blue states are the free states um, and part of the union. And then we've got some of these border states that had to make their decision um, if they were uh, slave states, if they wanted to join the Confederacy or the union. And so that was a terrible time too for our United States. Okay, so at first... Uh, many of the battles were won by the Southerners, okay, or the Confederate States. We call them lots of different names. We call them rebels, Confederates, slave states, okay? So they, at first, they were winning because they had a lot of really highly trained soldiers. Um, they were very skilled, but they also had the slaves that were running the farms and the businesses so that the soldiers could fight. So at first, uh, they were winning. And Think about it too. The the states that had gone away from the United States, they were fighting for their way of life. So they were fighting um, with a lot of effort. So here, um, uh, the southern states had the slaves to keep on working to keep the supplies coming along, and um, at first they were winning the Civil War. Well, it wasn't um, going so well, and at first. President Lincoln didn't think that he could do anything about the slavery at this point. He hated it. He wanted it gone. Um, however, he didn't think he had the power to change the laws. Um, but he and his advisors kept talking about it, and many of the people in the North really wanted the war to become a, a war to end slavery as well. So at first, the war was just to keep all of the states together in um, in the Union. Um, so, but things started to change after a little bit. The North, uh, the Union states started to win some battles and they were getting more and more support. And Lincoln and his advisors knew that there was a time for action. So they had a brilliant plan. Um, since they really didn't have the power to uh, make slavery illegal, they did think, well, these states are in rebellion, and we do have the right to seize property of any states that are um, acting in rebellion to the United States. So we will seize their property. And think about this. What did the slave states consider some of their greatest property? It was the slaves. And so um, Abraham Lincoln um, came up with something called the Emancipation Proclamation. And what that meant was he could seize the property of those rebellious states, the slaves, and set them free. And so, um, now that didn't free all the slaves in the United States. So remember, there were some slave states that did not join the Confederate states. They were still part of the Union. So it didn't free them, unfortunately, but it did free the slaves in the, uh, the, the rebel states, the Confederate states. And now this caused a lot of slaves to head north, and they even joined the Union Army and started fighting against the Confederate states. So that was pretty awesome. Then the tide was really turning, so the Union started winning more and more battles, and pretty soon it was apparent that the Southern Confederate states were going to lose. And so in, on April 9th, 1865, the Confederate states, the ones that were rebelling, um, 
they surrendered to the Union Army to the United States. And so the war was over, and all of those rebel states were back in the United States, and all their slaves were set free. Now, the Emancipation Proclamation, even though it didn't free all of the slaves, it did get America thinking differently. And soon, Lincoln had um, encouraged Congress to add an amendment to the Constitution. So an amendment is adding a new part or a new law, and this was the 13th Amendment. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as punishment for crime, etc., etc., uh, that would be illegal. It cannot exist within the United States. And so that's a new law uh, that they passed in 1865 that slavery could not be a part of the United States anymore. So that's pretty awesome. Um, even though it was a horrible war, this was a wonderful thing that came out of it because now slavery is illegal. Slavery cannot happen no matter what kind of state you're in. Now that the rebel states were back, the Confederate states had surrendered, and now they're all part of the United States and every single state would be a free state with no slavery anymore. So, pretty big deal, right? Okay, so I want you to read a little bit more about the Emancipation Proclamation. That's what Abraham Lincoln wrote to set the slaves free in the rebel states, the Confederate states. So you're going to read four, um, four pages, 254 to 257. You're going to complete workbook, page 129, which I've shown a picture. And um, boys and girls, I was just trying to make it a little bit easier for you, okay? So you can see these top three um, sentences that you need to fill in. You can find those answers on page 254. I'm just trying to make it easy for you, okay? This one down here, page 256. This one over here, page 257. And then down at the bottom, it says it led to Congress passing the well, what new law was it? Now, Emancipation Proclama Proclamation wasn't really a law. It was what uh, President Lincoln wrote. That was an executive order, but a new law had to be added to the Constitution. So that's what we're talking about right here. So I wrote a new law added to the Constitution. It's on page 257. So go ahead and fill in the rest of this organizer, okay? You don't have to do the backside. Just page 129, go ahead and tear it out and keep that in your journal too because that was an awesome part, an awesome outcome of a terrible, terrible war. Okay, so send me a photo of that and that is it.